I grew up in the uptown area back in the 80s. I searched for meaning and belonging in the streets. I had really wonderful parents who taught me what it meant to be a Christian and to live my life for God. I'm originally from South Side of Chicago. Uh, I've been here since uh, I was 17 on North Side. I guess I always look at myself as kind of a restless, uh, searching type person. I've always been trying to ask the question of where do I fit in? Um, I've been a Christian most of my life. So I grew up in Ghana for 13 years and came to the States in 2006. When I got to a place of intense addiction and couldn't stop doing drugs, couldn't stop drinking my brains out, couldn't stop with sexual addiction. And so I always wanted to be a hippie, you know. Um, free love, uh, marijuana, whatever, you know, all that kind of stuff. That was my idea, my goal. I didn't really know what Christ um, meant to me or meant for me. I had a point about a year and a half ago where I got really sick and um, my whole life was just turned completely upside down. It wasn't until later when my brother passed away it really made me think about uh, just life in general, where we go after we die. When I was going to college and I really cried out to God, to the God that I didn't know for sure he was there, uh, where do I fit in? Where's a job for me that I will be happy with and, and satisfied with? I used to always say hope, just hope that, never realizing the source of the hope. And then I remembered, oh, there's God. Um, there was one point in my life um, I just wanted to leave the church. But I prayed and, and through the Psalms and Job, rejuvenated my faith in Christ. And I remember just reciting the 23rd Psalm and just saying, God, I need you. Slowly as I just kept praying and I would read my Bible, I would read scripture verses that my mom would text to me, I, would, I just started to feel a peace. When I was 16, my mom came to me and she told me about Jesus Christ, how she accepted him into her life, how it changed her life. And I was really looking for that, I was looking for a change. I recognized that Jesus Christ had done something on the cross for hopeless people just like me. And he's the God of hope and he's changed my life. And I've been serving for the last 44 years. Uh, I've been doing evangelism, writing, and working with the poor and homeless at Cornerstone Community Outreach. I guess I kind of, that's how I find my way, through hope in, in God. I'm still trying to figure out and navigate my faith, but right now I do feel like Christ is my cornerstone. Even, even if things don't work out the way I plan, it, it's okay. God is there for me, and even if I don't have all the things that I wanted, He has a future for me that He's laid out. It's been really amazing to see that I was greeted with love in adoration and not shame or fear. That's what I experienced when I encountered Jesus Christ. I was really transformed. The transformation thing was really just a story of hope for me. Hope is transformation. Hope is Jesus showing me where I fit in. Hope is God's presence in uncertain times. Hope is seeking and finding our way through Christ. Hope is the opportunity to be healed. Hope is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, God alone. The Christ that I know is my eternal hope.